and bought this, and I just thought I would say that it was really hard to set it up. Because it was really confusing. It was all in not real English. And I just didn't know how to do it. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, David from Braved Gaming. Brandon's not here because he's too busy at home touching But I thought I would uh, address something because I bought a new controller from Newegg. It's from some company called 8... 8-bit do? I don't know. It's some Chinese thing. Uh, it's actually really nice to be honest. Uh, I mean, other than like you shake it and there's some... Like whatever that is. I don't know. It like rattles. But anyways... I thought I would address a situation I had when I uh, was setting this up because it was confusing to me and I couldn't find anything online about it. I finally figured it out, so I thought I'd run it by you real quick, so hopefully this is short and sweet and to the point. Uh, so, you know, here's the the thing. I unboxed it and it looks all cool and whatever and stuff, right? Okay, but so when you plug it in at first, if you follow the instructions, uh, which by the way, the Chinese ones are the ones that show up first. You turn it over and you get your English instructions, but the problem is, is it didn't like get recognized the way I expected it to by the computer. So I spent some time and figured it out. And uh, because of that Reddit post and they were like, well, I updated the firmware and then I did something and then it worked, right? So I'm like, okay, maybe they're onto something. So when I got it, it had like some outdated firmware version. So they're on like 4.10 right now and it was on like 2 point something when I got it. So uh, the main part of the problem is that if you don't update the firmware, it doesn't pick up the controller the same as it would after you update the firmware. Because basically it doesn't play or it doesn't show up as an X input device initially. So you have to download the firmware and update it because then when you connect it over Bluetooth, it shows up as a X input device instead of just a whatever device. Until you update the firmware, you have to use the instructions that came with it because those work with the controller out of the box. So you follow these and then after you update the firmware you use the manual on the website uh, 8-bit do do I don't know I think it's supposed to be like Nintendo like a play on Nintendo So it's like 8-bit do I don't know whatever. Oh, and by the way, it's not the SNES 30 as it says right here when you look on the website that's not there. You have to do the SN30 because they don't have that on there. So that's a good side note. And once that's done, you can just, that thing's gone. You just ignore it because it's worthless now. And then you got your new controller set up and, it, and it's a beautiful thing. It, it, when it works, it's amazing. But that's the problem is getting it working at first, at least in my case, because I had Windows 10 and it kind of sucked the setup. So. But once you get it set up, then all you have to do after you pair it, I mean, I don't know, you can follow the instructions. That's basically it. Uh, I don't know what else to say about it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully your Chinese controller does you as well as mine did. Hopefully better with my help, even though it was still kind of vague, but at least maybe points in the right direction. But yeah, maybe next time Brandon will be here too. But uh, as for now, that's it.